We are talking about measurement, lesson number four, linear scale factors and perimeter. Now we talked before about similar objects, but we're also going to talk about uh, now scale factors. Let's do some measuring here. For rectangle A, we're going to determine this length. And when we measure it with a ruler, we get this is three centimeters, and the width is two centimeters. Taking a look at rectangle B, we notice when we measure this, we will get six centimeters. And when we take the measurement of the width, it's going to be four centimeters. Now the same thing with C, when we measure the length, it's going to be 4.5 centimeters. And the width here is going to be three centimeters. And finally, for rectangle D, we have this will be 1.5 centimeters, and this is one centimeter. So let's complete the following then. We'll answer as a simplified fraction, and then express that fraction to one decimal place. So the first one is done. The length of B to A is six compared to three, and that's two to one, or it's equal to two. Now the width of B is four, compared to 2, which is equal to 2 to 1, which is equal to 2. The length of C, which is 4.5, compared to the length of A, is going to be 3. And if we simplify that, we will get 1.5 compared to 1. That's 1.5. The width of C is going to be 3 compared to 2, which can't be simplified anymore. Uh, so that's going to be 1.5. The length of D is 1.5. The length of A is 3. So this is 1 half, or 0 0.5. And this width of D is going to be 1 compared to 2, which as a decimal is 0 0.5. So the length of B then is twice two times the length of A. The width of B is two times the width of A. The length of C is 1.5 times the length of A, and the width of C is 1.5 times the width of A. The length of D is one half, half times the length of a and zero, the width of D is, we could also say it this way, right? 0 0.5 times the width of A. When we're talking about linear scale factor, we're describing the linear scale factor describes the enlargement or reduction of length. It is described as a ratio in the form A to B, or as a rational number A over B, or even as a percent. Now, for example, these rectangles, rectangle B from a, that linear scale, scale factor is 2 to 1, or 2, or 200%. The linear scale factor of rectangle C from rectangle A is 3 to 2, or 1.5, or 150%. You can say that they linearly, then the rectangle C dimensions are 1.5 times the dimensions of A. Now the linear scale factor of rectangle D from rectangle A is 1 to 2, or 0 0.5, or 50%. Now, scale factor greater than 1 would describe then an enlargement, and a scale factor between 0 and 1 describes a reduction. So let's take a look at some circles now. We have circle A, B, C, and D. They're all different sizes. And when we measure them, we find out that this radius is 2 centimeters. For circle B, this radius is equal to 4 centimeters. For circle C, this radius is 3 centimeters. And for circle D, then this radius is equal to 1 centimeter. So let's determine the linear scale factor in each of these cases. Well, the linear scale factor of circle B from circle A is 2, because you can see that this radius is double that radius. The scale factor from circle C from 
to circle C from circle A is 1.5 or 3 over 2. And the linear scale factor of circle D from circle A is that this radius is half of that radius. So 0 0.5 or 1 over 2. The perimeter of a circle is called the circumference and it can be calculated using this formula c equals 2 pi r. So circle a has a circumference of 2 pi times its radius which is 2. Circle b has a circumference of 2 pi times the radius of circle b which is 4 which we can simplify as 8 pi. Circle c has a circumference of 2 pi times 3 which can be simplified to 6 pi, and circle D, 2 pi times the radius of 1, which is 2 pi. So let's determine then the perimeter scale factors by completing the following. We have a perimeter scale factor of B from A, so we have circumference of B over the circumference of A, and here is the circumference of A is 4 pi, and we can see that that perimeter scale factor is calculated at 2. Let's use that same strategy for the perimeter scale factor C from A. So that is going to be 6 pi over 4 pi. And the pi's cancel, 6 over 4, but that can be simplified to 3 over 2. Or we can think of it as 1.5. The perimeter scale factor of D from A is the perimeter, or the circumference of D, rather. 2 pi over the circumference of A, which is 4 pi. Those pi's cancel, we get 2 over 4, but that's the same thing as 1 half, or 0 0.5. What do we notice about the linear scale factor and the perimeter scale factor? It looks equal. All right, part two. Let's complete the following then to investigate that relationship between the linear scale factor and the perimeter scale factor. So let's go ahead and fill in this chart. The first one is done for us. Now let's take a look at this Q rectangle here, 2 by 6, which means the perimeter is going to have, it's going to be 2, 6, 6, 2, and 2, which is going to be 16. 6 plus 6 is 12, plus 2 is 14, plus 2 is 16. And if we use the linear scale factor of 3, that means that we have this rectangle now that's not only 6, but it's going to be 18 and 6. So that is going to be a, oops, 18 by 6. The new perimeter is going to be 48. So this is going to be 6 by 18. Well, let's take a look at this new perimeter divided by the old perimeter, which will be equal to 48 divided by 16. And we can see that is equal to 3. 9 by 6, the original perimeter, 9 plus 9 is 18, plus another 12, that's 30. And if we were to take the linear scale factor of 1 third, that means it would be 3 by 2 instead. And if we calculate the perimeter of this new rectangle, 3 and 3 is 6, plus 2 and 2 is another 4, so that's 10. If we take the new perimeter divided by the old perimeter, we would get 10 divided by 30, which is equal to 1 third. And for this S rectangle, 3 by 12, then we're looking at 6 plus 24. This is also a perimeter of 30. And if we take the linear scale factor of 2 thirds, that means that the new length here is 2, and 2 thirds of 12 is 8. So if we consider that, we can say, well, 8 plus 8 is 16, plus 4 is 20. And using the same ratio, new perimeter divided by the old perimeter is equal to 20 over 30. That simplifies to 2 thirds. So can we use these results to make a statement? Well, the perimeter scale factor then seems equal to the linear scale factor. The evidence here seems to suggest that the perimeter scale factor is equal to the linear scale factor. So to re-emphasize the numbers here, if the linear scale factor then was 3, then it became an enlargement. If the 
linear scale factor was a number that was between 0 and 1, 1 third, or 0 0.3333, then we found out that was a reduction. Now R, what we did to R was we took, oh sorry, Q was an enlargement. So this was a linear scale factor of 3, so that means that that became an enlargement. And for P, it was a scale factor of 2, and that was an enlargement. But for R, it was one-third as the scale factor, and then it was a reduction. And S as well, it was two-thirds, and that was a reduction as well. So it seems to re-emphasize the fact that if the linear scale factor is greater than 1, you have an enlargement, and when it is less than 1, between 0 and 1, then you have a reduction. Taking a look at class example number 1, determine the scale factor that would, will transform diagram P to diagram Q. So if we take a look at this scale factor, we can count that this originally had 1, 2, 3, a length of 4, and now that length becomes 3. So that ratio here is it's a 3 to 4 linear scale factor. Oh, actually, as a ratio, we say we should say 3 to 4. That's the ratio. So we don't need that right now. But as a rational number, it's 3 over 4. And as a percent, 3 divided by 4 as a percent is, well, this is the decimal. But as a percent, it would be 75%. And example number two, Sarah increased the length and width of a rectangular 8 inch by 10 inch photograph by a factor of 5 over 2. Is this an enlargement or reduction? Well, taking that ratio of 5 to 2, we can also make it into a rational number, which is equal to 2.5. Since this number is greater than 1, we can conclude then it is an enlargement. Let's calculate the new dimensions of the picture. So the original width was 8 inches. So if we take that and multiply it by the linear scale factor of 2.5, then we get a value of 20 inches. And then for the 10 inches times 2.5, we get 25 inches. Let's show then the ratio of new perimeter divided by the old perimeter is 5 to 2. So the new perimeter, let's just draw a picture here, it's going to be 20, 25, 20, and 25. So let's get this perimeter. 20 plus 20 is 40. 25 plus 25 is 50. So this is 90. And then let's take a look at the old is 8 by 10. 8 plus 8 is 20, or 16, plus 10 plus 10 is 20. So this is 36. And here we can say, well, let's take the common factor of 2 out. So we'll get 45 over 18. And then notice that there's a common factor of 3 as well. So that's 15 over 6. And again, it looks like the factor of 3 is again there. And so this is 5 over 2, which is our target, you can see there. Now you're ready for your assignment, and I will see you in class.